Well, hello there YouTube, this is MetaP from MetaP's Unboxing and Reviews. Just going to quickly show you a quick test, 4K test um, of my new camera. Showing you outside. Not got much zoom. So this is my new 4K camera at 60 frames per second. It does do 8K but that's like only 15 frames per second. So it yeah, has a microphone that's on top that's battery powered. Um yeah. It's a really good camera. The only downside is when you put something close, as you can see it's all out of focus. I think the focus is wrong, there's no manual focus, no autofocus on this camera. So this is just showing you the beautiful weather outside and giving you a video test. So if I zoom in now, you can see it's all foggy and it's just a quick test. I will show you more in a moment. I'm back again. Yeah, so sh the good thing about this camera is the pitch quality is phenomenal. For the price, it's £120 online. I paid 40 I think, from a car boot sale. Like I say, the major down floor to this camera is the fact, I'll show you now, I'll show you the camera anyway, while I'm talking, uh, but the camera looks like this, and as you can see, it is blurry as hell, and I'm holding my phone quite far away from it, you know, and it's quite blurry, that's one of the major downsides to this camera, if you could take the front off and maybe adjust the lens, which would be so much better, I'm going to have a, a, re, a, a good research on if I can maybe adjust the lens, if it could be taken apart and you could twist it, the focus, because like older webcams, or even some modern webcams, cheap ones are, you have a little lens that could be turned for the manual focus, this has no manual focus and no auto focus. If it had manual a manual focusing ring, that'd be better. I want to use this for my holidays, so far away shots look like them flats there, and then trees look fantastic but when you get a bit closer it goes out of focus so just showing you this camera has a built-in in microphone and then you've got microphone port on the back and it has a, a shotgun microphone on the top but i think that shotgun microphone is a bit loud it's got two settings off low and high i've got it on low and it's quite loud so i do love this camera a lot not many people use these kind of cameras because of the fact it's like an old school camcorder because we've all got our phones and my phone does 4k but only 15 minutes worth this can do 4k for as long as the memory card that's got space so it's an absolutely lovely camera and it's nice and foggy it's a good good opportunity to show you what it's like what the picture quality is like i just wish that the focus would have been better because that's the only thing that lets it down really gutted. There's no, oh yeah, and there's no op optical image stabilization or electronic stabilization, which is a bit of a downside. There's no state stabilization whatsoever for the price, £120. You thought you would have got more out of it, but it's not bad. It does do the job if your subject's very far away, but if it's close, it won't do the job so just a quick showing this camera and I'll, sh and I'll um, show you what it looks like as well so no problem but I wish to focus I don't know if this is actually a problem with the camera like a manufacturing error or it's just all, all of them are the same I'm not sure because I'm not buying another one at 120 pound because I won't be able to find another one of these for 40 pound um, that was just a steal that he wanted 45, I asked 40, he said yeah, it was the last one. And the pitch quality is pretty good. The microphone sounds clear, but it's, I think it's a bit loud. So in editing, turn it down a bit. But yeah, that's really it. Up next, I will show you what it looks like. Well, this is a look at the camera. So I'm going to just quickly show you the camera that you've just seen videos of. So it does 8K at uh, 8K at 15 frames per second. 
this is a body camera I'm using this body camera has better focus it's going to take time for it to actually come on come on this is this is a, a 1080p body camera so it comes on when you flip it on and I forgot I left the microphone switched on so you can flip it round got a lens cap on um, it's a touch screen you can go into the menu and do all the touchy stuff um, got the date and time indicator lights zoom and you can see zoom zoom it's a lovely camera but like I say the only issue I have with this 8k camera is um, I use it in 4k at 6 frames per second Good picture quality for what it is for the price. I'm impressed. The battery doesn't last too, too terribly long, but, but I got two in it with a desktop charger, so I can charge it by the camera itself. I'll take them out and charge them individually, um, which is really good. If I could get more batteries for it, I will do. I'm going to see if I can find some accessories for it. I need to measure the size of the front because I wonder. Let me just close this because if it's got this feature then it does in there is threads right so what I was thinking is because in there in there so that's your infrared light um, in there because it's got threads where you can thread like a lens on I wonder because of the focus issue I have with this camera is if I measure the diameter of it can I get a lens that will improve the focus so you can't adjust it does not it turns the whole camera there's no autofocus manual focus or anything like that but maybe if I get a lens for it with a different focal point instead of it being very far away then that might improve the issue I'm having because the only other way to do it is take it all apart turn it on and turn the lens until it's focused to the point I want because you can't focus it so that's the shotgun microphone really good microphone but I've like I said previously I think it's a bit too loud so it's got night vision mode it's got colored night mode as well so with this bright light it's got Wi-Fi you don't connect it to your Wi-Fi or any public Wi-Fi. You connect the Wi-Fi to your phone. So your phone connects to this and you can view it on your phone and change settings and stuff like that with an app. It's a really good camera. The picture quality is good for the price. Um, high capacity battery. Nope. They're not that high capacity. So I just thought I would show you this. I'm like, I do love it. The cable's not very long, so I, it pulls on that section there so don't know how long the wires would last in it but I need to charge the microphone up because I forgot I left it turned on and it's good that it's got a powered microphone so this socket only works with powered microphones um, and it's it's a little lovely camera it's, it's like a camera from the early 2000s to 2005 something like that maybe 2010 um, I can't remember when cameras like this came out but this is a camcorder so it does come with a 32 gig memory card I like I was stoked that it came with a memory card uh, I have tried using a higher capacity memory card but the camera keeps freaking out uh, I think it's a 128 gig memory card I put in it and the camera was really freaking out um, sometimes it read the card sometimes the card won't show up there's no internal storage on it and it does have your standard tripod mount and then I can never get the door open but in there is the battery and the memory card so yeah because you might not be able to see that it's very but there is threads in there where you can screw a lens on because some of these come with like a, a sun shield so it's like a square box you screw into here um, and then it like sticks out so far to stop some bleeding into the into the lens which is a good idea so maybe if I can get a different lens for it screw it on uh, a lens with a different focal point 
that would be amazing and then this camera would be perfect because the only downside and I'm, I keep saying it in my videos but I'm just peed off the only downside is the focal point on this is like 15 miles away it, it'll be focused if it's 15 miles away I'm just being over dramatic but if you if you're trying to do um I'm not saying macro shots, I don't want macro shots, because this ain't the camera for that, but if you try and do vlogs of your face, or if anyone gets a bit too close, um, sorry for the mess on the desk, but it's so close, it then just goes all blurry, so that's one of the things I'm not too keen on, but good camera overall, um, I would totally recommend it. I'm not sure if other units have the same focal point as this. If this has a different focal point, then I mean, if other cameras have a, the correct focal point, then that'd be great. You can change the metering on it from spot to center to whatever, you know. But that doesn't do anything. There's <laughs> settings in there. That it does all kinds of things. Uh, night vision works very well. It has a built-in microphone somewhere, so you don't have to use the shotgun mic that's on it and uh, i probably recommend get a different shotgun mic that's then than this one because this one i think is a bit too sensitive but that's just my overtake of this there's the controls on the top i will post the videos thank you for watching and we shall catch you in the next video cheers guys